Hi guys, in this lecture, we will see how we can implement object detection tracking using YOLO V8 on any custom data set. So the data set I will be using for this project uh, is, uh, is the following data set that is available publicly on RoboFlow. The data set contains the drone images of cars, trucks, motorcycles, pickups. So it's a multi-class data sets which contain around um, around 10 plus classes, uh, which include uh, the images of tractor, plane, pickup, motorcycle, camping car. So it's a huge data set and it contains around 4,680 images. So this is a quite good data set. And so I will be using this data set. So this, it contains multi-class data set it is. And um, so we will be using this data set for this project. As far as the health check is concerned, let us check it as well. So this basic class is car class is overrepresented while all other classes are underrepresented. So um, while choosing any data set for the project, um, I think uh, you should be keep in mind the data should, set should be balanced. So uh, this data set is not balanced, but we are just um, using this data set for this tutorial. So it's fine. But if you are uh, implementing a project or for some project or some or doing for some freelancing project, uh, you should make sure the data set must be balanced. So like it's overrepresented while all other classes are underrepresented, like it contains car uh, annotations are around 8,389, while other annotations are very low. So you should uh, keep in mind the data set should be balanced. Like out of 20,554 annotations, uh, 8,000 annotations are of car. So like you can see that around four to five annotations are per image. Like for example, we have 4,680 images. So around uh, each image is contain four annotations. And in out of four annotations, like uh, maximum times, all the annotations belong to the card class. So the data set is not balanced. Uh, so please make sure while implementing any project or picking any publicly available data set from RoboFlow or from Kaggle or from any other site, please make sure the data set must be balanced. So uh, we will be using this data set for this pro uh, tutorial. Uh, let's move on further. So this is the CoLab notebook. I will be explaining the whole process flow in this notebook. So please keep in touch so I, um, so please watch the complete tutorial so you don't miss anything. So this is the GitHub repo, uh, which we'll be using for this project, which is YOLO V8 with these sort object tracking. We will be using this GitHub repo uh, for this project. So here uh, the complete steps to run control, uh, code step-by-step -step are provided, like steps to run code. And we will be following the same steps in our CoLab notebook. Uh, and like which I mentioned here, like first we need to clone the repository and then we need to go to the clone folder. Then we need to install all the dependencies, uh, which include all the required libraries. Then we need to uh, redirect to that uh, detect folder and then uh, as we need to implement object tracking using deep sort, so we need the deep sort files uh, to implement object tracking. Uh, basically, deep sort is a state of the art multi object tracking algorithm, uh, which we'll be using for this project. And then we can download some sample video for testing from the Google Drive. And then uh, we will be, uh, then, then we can run the script and test uh, by writing Python predict.py. So, to test our script. So basically all these instructions given here are uh, can be used if you are going to implement um, your low V8 on any pre-trained model. But uh, we are uh, like this is here we are using the pre-trained model uh, which is trained on MS Coco data set. But here we are uh, using a custom data set and we are just fine tuning our pre-trained model. So we will be fine tuning the pre-trained model. So uh, the steps to, of, to run the code uh, will increase a bit so let's uh, discuss each of the step involves to implement uh, YOLA V8 with, uh, with detection and tracking on any custom data set. So first of all, uh, you need uh, we need to import all, first of all, before running the strip, we need to make sure uh, that we have selected the runtime as GPU. So to make sure, just go to runtime and check change runtime, it is GPU, so that's very good. And now we need to import all the required libraries. First, we will import importing this library from ipython.display import image. Uh, so we need this library when we need to display some image into our notebook, like uh, like this library we have we will be using over here. 
let me show you. Like here, I'm dis displaying computer matrix. For this, I'm uh, using the IPython dot display library to display the confusion matrix. Or if you want to print the training validation losses, here I'm also using this library. Or to print in the image uh, the validation batch predictions, I am also using this library. So we use this library to display any image into our Colab notebook. So first of all, uh, let me. Uh, okay, I've done this script previously as well. So just uh, clean all these files over here and just reconnect the server. Okay, so let's start from the very start. So you can see that we have no previous files over here and let's very start. And I have chosen the runtime as GPU. So and then we will go on this GitHub repo. Uh, so now the my GitHub repo has been cloned. Now in the next step, let's check what is our uh, current directory. So this PW shows present working directory. P means present, W means working, and D means directory. So my present working directory is this. This is the content area. So uh, this is my uh, repository which I have cloned uh, over here. It's appearing over here. So I now want to redirect uh, myself into this repository. I just want to redirect my notebook to this repository. I will just click over here and copy path and just uh, paste it over here. Okay. So, so the GitHub repository, which I have cloned, I am just setting as my current directory. CD stand for current directory. So in the next step, I need to install all the dependencies. So use, uh, basically we need to install all the required libraries. Uh, which are required uh, to run this script. So here we are installing all the required libraries. So, so if you don't run this, you might face some error like the Hydra libraries installed or NumPy libraries installed. So it's necessary that you run this cell so that you don't face any library issue like uh, the following libraries installed or like NumPy, Matlotte, Pandas library is not installed. So. If you run this cell, you will not face such issue anymore. So I'm just able to uh, run this cell. And now basically uh, here, basically YOLO V8 repository contains uh, code for segmentation detection, as well as uh, the code for classification as well. But uh, here in this project, we are only performing uh, detection with tracking on custom data set. So let me read me, uh, let me move towards the required folder of detection because we are not performing segmentation or tracking. So just go over here, V8, and this is a folder which we require. So just copy the path and just paste it over here. So now as I am just um, implementing uh, object tracking and detection on custom data set, so just we need to download the data set or import the data set from RoboFlows. To do this, you just need to go to, I need to just sign with my account. So let me show you, just give me a minute. So I have just uh, signed in with my account. Like you can say that I have just logged in my account previously. I have not logged in, so just log in and just click on download this data set. And you can just select a format. So I'm just selecting YOLO V5 PyTorch format uh, and that's fine. I show download code, continue and just copy this, all this from here and just paste this over here and just now run this cell. So it might take uh, one to two minutes in, to download the data set on your side. So let's wait for one to two minutes. So the data set you can see is downloading over here and here this is the basically the data set we are downloading over here. It will automatically unzip when the data set completes loading in the form of zip format. So when it's completely downloaded in the form of zip format, it will automatically unzip as well. So let's wait. So let's wait for a few minutes. Okay. So you can see that uh, it's automatically unzip. Now we have the train test and validation folders. Okay. So now uh, we have downloaded the data set. 
and we are in the detection folder. So we have the data set and now we basically uh, need to implement object tracking. So basically to implement object tracking here, we are using deep sort. Deep sort is a state of the art object tracking algorithm. So we need to download the deep sort files into our directory as well. So just implement deep sort uh, tracking, we need to download the required files. I'm just downloading over here. So in currently in the zip format, like you can see here, here we have the deep sort files, but it's in the zip format. So we need to unzip them. So here I'm just unzipping the deep sort files. So now we need to train our custom model. So I have already trained the model on for 50 epochs. So you can see over here, I have already trained it, but if I start training over here, it might take one to two hours long. So I'm not just not training it. I have saved the weights file. So I'm just import the weight files over here. Okay, so these are all the files which we usually have in our train folders. We are just checking which files we have in our train folder. So this is the confusion matrix. So confusion matrix is the chart that shows uh, basically how our model handles different classes. So let me show you what confusion matrix explain basically. Let me set this. So, okay, just setting it a bit. Not in the way I want a bit more. Okay, just save this image instead of we just download and just explain it. So just let's the images download it, just close this. So here we have the confusion matrix. So what does confusion matrix like that? I've already told you basically confusion matrix is the chart that shows us how our model handles different classes. Now let's for example, Uh, let's consider the case of camping car. So for example, uh, for 67% of the times, it, detect, it detects correctly, our model detects correctly that it's a camping car. But for 10% of the time, we get the bounding box, but the camping car is incorrectly classified as the car. Okay, so there is a difference between camping car and car. So 67% of the time, our model detects correctly that it's a camping car. While 10% of the time, our model, in, uh, we get the bonding box, but uh, the camping car is incorrectly classified as simple car. Okay, like you can see here. While 24% of the time, uh, our model, uh, we are basically, our model is unable to detect anything. Like for the 21st of the time, we simply get nothing. Our model is unable to detect that it's a camping car. Okay, so neither is uh, our model is basically unable to detect at 24 percent of the time it's a camping car or something. So we did not get uh, any bonding box for 21st percent of the time. Okay, while 67 percent of the times our model uh, is able to detect correctly that it's a camping car, while 10 percent of the times our model classifies camping car incorrectly as car, while 24% of the time we, our model is unable to detect anything, like it's a background. So this is what uh, basically we, uh, I've just tried to explain the confusion matrix. So here we are, get that training and validation losses. Uh, the losses which are important are the box locks and CLS loss, okay? So here we are predicting the model prediction on the uh, validation batch. So you can see that, uh, so basically these images, uh, which we are checking the model prediction on the validation batches. So basically these images are not strictly used for training. So it, so it is always better to have a look and see how our model is behaving. And I can see that model is behaving quite fine as well. So basically I have not uh, run the train script of training over here. So I'm just downloading the weights from the Google Drive. So just downloading the weights file, best weights from the Google Drive and I have downloaded it. So here I have validated my custom model as well. Uh, you can see that 
uh, mean average precision when we have a IOU of 50% and when we have a IOU of 50 to 95% uh of all the classes uh, so it's just okay mean average precision for all the classes is just okay it's not uh very good or you can say that it's just fine so now we are just uh doing inference with the constant model so i'm just downloading a demo video from my uh drive google drive to test how accurately my models perform okay we have a demo video now just run this basically we are taking our best bits we have the best dot vt file over here so we are just taking the best bits and just now run it so it might take uh, one to two minutes to run the set so So it's running, so let's wait until it's complete uh, the process of running and then we can validate our results. So the script has completely successfully run. So let's display the demo video we have over here. So it might take a few minutes to display the demo video over here. So let's wait and until the demo video gets ready to display over here. So our demo video is ready. So here we have the recording of cars or trucks on a highway road. Let's download it and check it over here. So it's giving fine results. Okay, this is a truck. Or the truck. So you can see that we have the unique IDs assigned to each object. Plus, we are also able to track as well. So the results are quite fine as well. So this is all. So basically, uh, this recording is a basically highway recording of uh, vehicles on a highway road. This recording is done using drone. So that's quite good results. So let's test on some other video as well. So this is a demo video of, and some other video as well. So just run it as well. So it might take a few minutes more. So let's wait until this training process completes. So the script is running. Okay, so let's wait until the scripts run successfully. And then we will discuss further things. So uh, this collab file will be available on this GitHub repo as well. So you can check this GitHub repo and in this GitHub repo, uh, this file, collab file will also be available as well. Okay, now let's it's again successfully. Now let's check out this as well. What's the name of this video? This is test two. Okay, now let's run and see uh, what output we get over here as well. So it might take a few minutes, so let's wait until this. So here our demo output video is also ready for another uh, test case. So let's download it and check it out as well. Okay, so let's play it. So cool, the results are very fine. Okay, in some, in some case it can be improved. Okay, so here in this implement case, we have implement object detection tracking using Yolo V8 on custom data set. So this is the uh, collab notebook file. I will be sharing this file with you as well. So do watch this video. And if you haven't watched the other videos of YOLO E8 with deep sort tracking and how to implement YOLO V8 on collab, do check it out on my channel as well. Thank you very much for watching this video.